Nazi stormtroopers and students are burning books at the University of Berlin. Into the flames go 20,000 books, books that shape the contemporary culture of Europe and the world, books by all those the Nazis condemn. It is May 10th, 1933, and on Goebbels' orders, scenes like this are enacted all over Germany. In the capital, the propaganda minister himself takes charge. The age of Jewish intellectualism is finished. Himmler's Einsatzkommandos have been executing Jews in all the occupied parts of Russia since the summer of 1941. Four such special action squads murder one million Jews. The shootings continue even after the gas chambers and the ovens take over the major burden of killing. The SS at work, a child torn from its mother. They all look alike, the so-called concentration camps. On their periphery, a double fence of barbed wire, the inner one charged with high voltage, contact with which means death. This is how Auschwitz looked to American aerial intelligence in 1944. Photos probably taken because of the industrial installations that were part of the complex. The barracks are not monstrous, at least not lethal when seen from the air. Auschwitz after liberation. Even liberation could not stop the misery overnight, nor halt the death of many too far gone for help. These were found alive. Others more dead than alive. 